Here we are at Peru Moto Tours, and uh, the bike we're going to be using here is the Honda Falcon. That's 400cc, and that's what they call a dual sport bike, which means it's uh, capable on-road and off-road, as half of our journey is going to be on-road and the other half is going to be off-road, and in that order. So you can see it's a little bit dusty. We got the Peru plates ready to go. Uh, Carl and I are both going to be on one of these, exactly the same bike. Uh, we took him out for about a two and a half hour spin to uh, Pisac and um, it was a bit sketchy going through the mountains and you know some hairpin blind corners, there's potholes and when there's a combination of potholes and blind corners that's when it gets really scary. Alright, so I'm going for wall socks. Being through everything is uh, quite colorful so this is what I came up with from the market and these here are the boots. So it should make them nice and snug, hopefully. For the ride. I got a green nose. Again, every time I wipe this off, it just gets green again. I don't know if there's any point. Uh, we're stopping for a bit of petrol. They go by, what is it, gallons? Yeah. Hello. Instead of liters, so we figured it out. It's, it's about the same sort of price. And uh, that's about it. Lovely stop in the mountains. You can see some construction going on all around us. Oh, just turn around here, actually. There's all kinds of uh, old bikes around here, but we noticed these 400s are considered really, really big. Back home, they're sort of smaller class bikes, you know. But here they're really big. It's it's mainly uh, 125s, 250s, I think. I think 125 is pretty much the norm. 250s even above. Is even the bigger ones, yeah. yeah. Now that's, uh, Fabrizio, is that waterfall part of the, uh, the water treatment plant nearby? Yeah. Or the water, the hydro, hydro power plant? Okay, right, right, right. Well, it looks pretty cool though. The scenery is just absolutely stunning. Everywhere you go, this was too good to pass up. We had to stop by, check it out. But uh, onward and off to the next bit of track. even higher up in this sort of dry arid area but I just want to walk you over so okay here we go bike road bike 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 can't illustrate this enough and um, I, I, I big enough drop that it makes my knees kind of wobbly you know What do you think of this place? All right, uh, not too bad. We've got some, it's a buffet. They've got Mexican, vegetarian, a little bit of everything. I love buffets. And um, we're stopping in here possibly to do um, some hot springs. So that could be cool. I don't know if we're allowed to film in there, so it might be a little bit R-rated, you know. All right, so somebody was uh, was out hitting the town last night. Did you hear the rooster? 
elbow. Yeah, man. He started at like 4.30 and sleeping ever since has just been impossible. So my alarm went off, you were funny? Yeah, I was way up before your alarm. All right, let's get you a Tylenol and uh, coffee. All right, Carl, what do you think of this view? It's excellent. Last night down there, we were right in Hot Springs. That's right, you can see now in, uh, in daylight a little bit where the hot spring area was. All right, so we paused over here so that we can get, oh, I almost fell off a cliff. Uh, a little smoke break. Well, not me, but uh, for the boys here. And uh, we're working our way up the mountain. We're going to, what's the, uh, what's the maximum height we're going to here? 4,300 meters. That is super, super high up. It's high, it's gonna get cool. Yeah, uh, I, I dressed way, way too warm. I've been sweating like crazy, but it's gonna flip to my advantage when we get a little bit higher. They'll be freezing and I'll be the one who's laughing. Guide is taking a leak. Uh, we got Carl here. It's windy as hell up here. And we've made it to Abracadabra. Or, uh, sorry, Abra Malaga. It's pretty close. And it's, uh, there you go, 4,316 meters. It's very, very windy up here. That road, that's what we just came up. Uh, I hope you can hear this over the wind. Oleanti Tambo. Ah, uh, muchas gracias. Oleanti Tambo. That's where we are. And uh, we're getting filthy as we ride. And uh, we're down in. Uh, it's a really cool town. They've got some areas that are really, really, really nice. I think this is kind of a backpacker hangout, and they've got some Incan ruins here as well. Carl's having some polo, chicken, and uh, what's the, you got a bit of everything on there. <laughs> Steak, Steak egg, uh, banana, banana, avocado. That's the I couldn't make up my mind meal. <laughs> and I've got some vegetarian soup with meat in it, uh, which is, it's tasty though, and um, some fritz. We're, um, just pulled over we're just stopping for a, a coffee and uh, I, 
you know, I thought I'd record this. We haven't taken any pictures of anything all day. We haven't we haven't videoed anything all day because it's just been frantic. You know, this whole thing has just changed into a completely different thing. Uh, up till now, I was enjoying it. I mean, it was hard. You know, it was hard. There was there was all kinds of hair pin bends and and turns and you know some crazy off road and stuff. But but it was kind of leisurely. You know, we were going like a good I don't know an average of like fifty maybe 60, you know, and, and kind of really soaking it in and, and we'd stop and we'd take some videos and we'd take some pictures and, and stuff like that. But today it's just like press on, keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'm, you know, I asked what's going on today? Why, you know, we, we were doing 50 and now it's like, it's like 90, 100, you know, we're, we're off-roading in, in 35 zones and, and we're doing like 70, you know, standing on the pegs, going over speed bumps, catching air off of these things, you know, and, and, and stuff that I, it isn't anything that I signed up for. And, and I ask, what's the point? You know, why, why has it changed? And everyone's talking about, well, there's this train that we have to go and, and there's, there's so many kilometers that we have to do. And, you know, so I don't know. I, I don't know that we're going to get a chance to do any, any video and any, anything else. But, I mean, it is, it is tough going. It is hard. You know, at one point, at several points, I thought, this is it. You know, you're going along and you're on a sort of cliff edge and you're going that speed and you get caught in a rut or you get into a bit of a slide or you hit a bit of a bump and, and suddenly, you know, you get just kind of knocked and, and, and lose control for a second. And if you go left instead of right, you know, you're, you're two feet away from, you know, a thousand foot drop and, and I just don't see the point in it, you know. That's, that's kind of not really what I was thinking this motorcycle tour would be. So, you know, I don't know. I, I hope that I can keep up. I hope we catch the train. And then, uh, and then the rest of it doesn't have to be like this. But today it's just been crazy, you know. And it's too bad. I mean, it was a lot of fun up until now. But today, it's I, I got to be honest, I'm not really enjoying it. Not at this pace. How's the, how's our time doing? Oh. I'm trying to ride as fast as I can, guys. Like honestly, this is this is way above my level. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a little I just don't want to come home in a body bag. I, I if I got to slow down for a corner, it's slowing down for a corner. Holy fuck. Okay, that's the uh, train behind me. I just left the group. I need to take a second. To be honest, I'm completely pissed off. When uh, when signing up for the bikes, you know, I made it. I made it really clear to them, sort of our limitations. I've got I've got one day off road uh, experience through a course that I took, and we, we each paid extra money to have that private guide, you know, so he could he could pick a route that's that's a little bit slower. And you know, we were saying something like just let's cruise along 60 kilometers an hour, take some pictures. And, uh, and that was the idea, you know, we wanted to take a, a motorcycle tour, you know, but I didn't sign up for the f***ing Dakar rally. And if you go over the edge, that's it. I mean, we have like a dirt track and hairpin corners, blind corners. There's, there's trucks coming around the corner and he's flying, man, like 80 kilometers around, you know, each of these corners. And I'm trying to keep up. And a couple times, I swear to God, like I just yelled at him. I said, well, you're going to tell my family why I'm coming home in a body bag? You know, and he's like, we have to catch a train. We have to catch a train. And we said, well, we'll miss the train. You know, we want to we want to survive. I didn't enjoy any of that. That entire thing was was the most terrifying thing I've ever done in my entire life. So you can see we opted for the uh, deluxe train after that harrowing day. We actually have to drive back from Machu Picchu. So I figure I might not survive that. Uh, so may as well treat ourselves to first class section on the train. Uh, Carl and I have no idea where we are uh, in the train ride time. I forgot the name. Aquas Celiantes. That sounds Latin. I, what, what's the name of this town? Aquas Celiantes? Sí. Aquas Celiantes. Sí. Gracias. Okay. That's all we need to know. Okay. Aquas Celiantes, which actually, we know it translates to hot water. We just forget how to say it. And we realize... We have a lot of sand, hopefully. No, we, we have a lot of sand and dirt on our faces. We've, so we're going to actually clean up and uh, go for dinner and I think call it an early night because we're up at... Well, we're taking a, a five o'clock. We're heading out yeah. for Machu Picchu. So, see you there. One but no hot water. But no hot water. 
We're staying in a town called Hot Water, and there's no hot water. I just want to show you, I don't know if you can see this, I've got a, a bit of jungle rot happening on my arm here, pretty impressive. Um, yeah. Andy's jungle rot, I'm sure that's what that is. Not heat rash, jungle rot. All right. <laughs> we're uh, hiking. We're we're at Machu Picchu, but we're going up Machu Picchu Mountain. It's really really cloudy today, so hopefully we get uh, some decent shot, and it's not just all fog and cloud. You can kind of see here behind me uh, a bit of the trail as we're coming up the mountain. But this is what I mean by fog. You know, it's uh, it's like walking through a cloud, which is kind of cool, but. Not if we get up there and we can't see any other sight. Well, we're continuing to hike, and the thing is, the mountain just keeps going up and up and up, different steps like these. Uh, but I think we're coming around the back of the mountain, like we're gonna have to go all the way around the mountain before we come back into view. Hopefully by then the clouds have uh, dissipated a little bit. All right, folks, well, there it is, Machu Picchu, one of the seven wonders of the world. Pretty awesome. I can definitely see why it's one of the seven wonders for sure. Definitely worth coming half a world away to check that out, don't you think? Beautiful. I don't know how the Incans did it, honestly. Fantastic. That is honestly where Machu Picchu is. Uh, we've hiked up past the Sun Gate um, for, for a while now uh, to get a good outlook, a good view. Um, we're hoping that uh, as it heats up out here, I mean it's still, you know, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning uh, at this point, so hopefully when it heats up then the mist will dissipate and we can finally have a clearing and get a good shot of it, we'll hike back up to the Sun Gate. Until then we're going to hike back down and at least we can kind of see it. You can only see about 20 meters ahead of you, so we're going to go down to, uh, to ground level instead of the overview. But um, there it is. Awesome. We risked life and limb. Machu Picchu. All right, that apparently was a schoolhouse. We've come down the mountain quite a bit of a ways. And uh, at least you can see a little bit of something. We'll, uh, we'll give you, Carl, do you want to explain everything here? There's ruins there. Ruins. Carl and I are now uh, sort of on ground level. We've entered through the main gate into uh, Machu Picchu City. And, and this room here, you can tell is a uh, it's about the size of my apartment it's sort of a, a bachelor pad i think there would have been some you know cool ink in here trying to bring back the ladies this here is early uh, toilet you can tell and uh there's a bachelor painting right there but he's got a heck of a view i don't know if you can see this very very nice Right now we are in the center, being the heart of the city of it's Machu Picchu. Pretty amazing. If you like rocks, there's lots of them. This is the place to be. Yeah, Carl. Just like I thought. More rocks here. Okay, yeah, two aguas, one Big Mac, and a, uh, a sacrificial dagger. Right, right. Oh, sir, your water's ready. Have a nice day. Uh, now that dagger, should that be copper, or do we want to make that? This thing here behind me is some sort of main altar of Machu Picchu. The explanation was in Spanish, I have no idea. But everyone's reaching out and putting their hands just over top of it. And uh, I don't know what it's supposed to do. They're holding it right there. And I don't feel any different. I think you're already starting to see it from here. Now that uh, you can see the mountain and the, uh, the clouds have gone away, we've decided we're going to try and hike up for uh, for a better view a second time this time it's a little bit harder because it's the sun's out it's a lot hotter now than it was this morning but uh we want to get that view you know yeah. 
All right. Well, finally, after uh, hours of hiking and hours of waiting, the uh, mists and the clouds have finally gone away. And there behind us, you can see Machu Picchu in all of its glory. And uh, we can definitely see why it is one of the seven wonders of the world. Pretty impressive. Very impressive. Getting here was pretty impressive, too. Quite the adventure. Both of us probably looked death in the face a few times. <laughs> made it through. Absolutely. Had a lot of fun doing it, though. Yeah, I can't stress enough just how scary that ride was. But uh, now that we've made it to, um, you know, sort of the, the grand finale uh, of the trip, it was always our goal, see Machu Picchu and, and check that off of the life list. And uh, after seeing many different areas of Peru and uh, different Incan monuments and, and ruins along the way, it's a, it's a nice way to finish off this trip. So that's it. We're wrapping up here and heading back home, back to reality. Have a look at Machu Picchu.